don't make me sound like some flake, George. I want to make money, too. Oh, really? The Harlem Theater for the Blind? Strindberg in the Park? The People's Workshop in Syracuse? I did eight plays in nine months in Syracuse, and I got great reviews from the New York critics. Now that's why I did it. God forbid you lose your standing as a cult failure. Do you think I'm a failure, George? I will not get sucked into this discussion. I sent you just play to read. It's got a great part for me in it. Did you read it? Where do you come off sending me your roommate's play for you to star in? I'm your agent, not your mother. I'm not supposed to produce your roommate's play so you can star in it. I'm supposed to field offers. Who told you that? The agent fairy? That was a significant play. No one wants to do that play. Why? Because it's a downer. No one wants to watch a couple who moves back to the love canal. But that actually happened. Who gives a shit? No one wants to pay $20 to watch people living next to chemical wastes. They can see that in New Jersey. Okay, okay. I'll raise the money myself. I'll do anything. Please, send me up for a, a cat commercial, dog commercial, anything. I can't send you. Why? Michael, no one wants to work with you. Oh, psh, that's not true. I bust my ass to get the part right. Yes, but you bust everyone else's ass too. A guy's got four weeks to put on a play. He doesn't want to argue whether Tolstoy can walk if he's dying. <laughs> the guy was an idiot. Besides, that was two years ago. They can't all be idiots. That was the last time you worked. You argue with everyone. You've got one of the worst reputations in town. No one will touch you. Wait a minute now. What, what are you trying to say? That no one in New York will work with me? No, that's too limiting. How about no one in Hollywood will work with you either? I can't even send you up for a commercial. You played a tomato for 30 seconds and they went half a day over because you wouldn't sit down. It wasn't logical. You were a tomato. A tomato doesn't have logic. A tomato can't move. That's what I said. So if a tomato can't move, then how could I sit down? I was a great tomato. I was a stand up tomato. Michael. Michael, I think you're a brilliant actor, but there's nothing I can do for you. I think you ought to get some therapy. <laughs>